introduce you a little Hank here. He's one of our little greenhouse dogs. He's about the only beagle I ever saw that wouldn't leave. We've had him for about, yeah, I don't know, he's 12 years old probably. And uh, he's a good dog. He, he stays right here close. Uh, really good with the kids and people that come around here at the greenhouse. But I uh, thought I'd show him. All right, today uh, I'm going to show you our benches. we got our benches done here. But that's really not what I want to do the video about today. Uh, we've pretty well got all of our uh, greenhouses swept out and cleaned. And uh, now we are starting to get spray and kill algae. So I thought I would really like to do a video and show you the product that we use. Now, of course, this is not really a product endorsement. I mean, I'm a guy that's got 384 subscribers, I don't think. Uh, this product's going to be paying me big bucks to promote their product. Now, I'm not getting anything out of this. I just really wanted to show this to you because it works so well for me. So, we'll get in here in the fern house and I'll get this uh, camera turned around and I'll show you how this works. Alright guys, I thought I would feature a product today that we've been using for two or three years and I really like it a lot. And uh, I think you will too if you have an algae problem. And uh, this is not just uh, problems in the greenhouse. I've used it on several different types of surfaces such as vinyl siding. I've used it around my windows, uh, on concrete. Of course, I've used it on uh, polycarbonates and polyethylene uh, plastics and I haven't had a bit of trouble with it hurting any of the surfaces. Um, this product is called Wet and Forget. And it's an algicide uh, that you just spray on a surface that you're having problems with. And uh, it will last a good year. And how it works is every time that surface gets wet, it reactivates that product. And uh, it'll keep a good clean surface for an entire year. A lot of times, uh, uh, such as in here in the fern house, I used it and gave a, a good spraying here last year. And there's very little that I need to spray here this year because it, it works so well. So I'll just be doing a little bit of spot pr uh, spraying and uh, that'll kind of do it for today. But uh, the one thing that you do want to remember with this product is uh, if you have any plants in your greenhouse already or around your landscape where you're wanting to spray, you want to be very careful about not getting this on the leaves because it will burn the leaves. So I try to do all my spraying before we start in the spring. And uh, that way I've got it over with and I don't have to worry about it. So if you have plants in your greenhouse now, just be careful not to get it on them because it will burn the leaves. But other than that, it is a top-notch product that uh, I've been using a while and it's proven itself to me. It keeps my greenhouses clean because used to, I would, have to, I would power wash everything every spring. And uh, this has cut back way a lot on the work. So uh, anything to cut back on work, I'm all for if, if it works. So. I wanted to be sure and pass it along to you guys because it's uh, it's really improved my life, especially if you have greenhouses. Algae is always a problem. So basically, uh, all you do is just kind of spray it on a surface. Right over here, we've got a place that stays wet most of the time, and uh, we'll just give that a little a little spray and soak that surface. And once you do that, you can just walk off. It's going to do its thing. You don't have to wash it off. You don't have to scrub. You don't have to do anything. That algae will just kind of turn white and it'll reactivate throughout the season and it'll keep it clean. So we always have a little bit of trouble here under our benches also where it uh, usually stays a little bit moist and the sun doesn't hit, can't get it dried out. So uh, we'll give it a good soaking too and uh, that's all it takes. Once you do that, you're good to go. So I wanted to pass that along. Wet and forget. Uh, it's, it's proven itself to me. So. I think you'll probably like it if you have greenhouses. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch up with you on the next video.